Um, I'm going to welcome Lloyd Russell Moyle. He's in Brighton uh, for Labour. We're going to talk to you in just a moment, um, Lloyd, uh, following on from the debate uh, last night. Let's just listen to what Jeremy Corbyn had to say. Uh, and these are claims about Boris Johnson's plans for the NHS. What we know of what Mr Johnson has done is a series of secret meetings with the United States in which they were proposing to open up our NHS markets, as they call them, to American companies. Freedom of Information Act request was made in order to find out what happened at these meetings. That's what happened at these meetings. Every single line of this document redacted out. A sure. document here, a document here of... U.S.-U.K. negotiations, summary of specific okay. negotiating Let's objectives, allow Mr. full Johnson. market access for U.S. products to our National Health Service. You're going Mr. to sell Johnson, our National Health Service <laughs> out to the United States and Big Pharma. Lloyd, I hope you were able to hear that, but you no doubt saw it in the debate last night. Yes, what evidence have you got that you can show our viewers for these claims that the government is going to sell off the NHS? Well, I can tell you about my last few trips to Washington um, on cross-party trips and committee trips where it is clear that both Democrats and Republicans believe that our pharmaceutical purchasing processes and other parts of the NHS should be up for bids in, um, uh, in any negotiation. And that's what they've done with other free trade arrangements in the past and they are adamant that they would not treat us any differently. And of course it is not just Trump, who is very dangerous, but it is the Congress as well that has to approve these plans. And if even Democrats aren't supporting uh, us on these plans, going running to America is very difficult when currently there are not any allies there that will support, uh, very few allies I should say, there are some very good noble examples, uh, you know, Bernie Sanders, etc. But very few allies and none in major political positions who are able to defend the NHS in the US. And we know already here in the UK, the yeah. NHS has been rolled back. So so many pr uh, procedures that were done on the NHS now no longer are, and you have to go private. Right, but and that's that is the direction of travel. Uh, but that private, is what we can point to. There's private provision in the NHS and has been for quite some time. But what we're trying to test here is the claim that the government mm -hmm. is selling off the NHS. Now, one of the documents that well, Jeremy... Well, I just called, told you well, about on, my on. meetings in uh, Washington. Right, yeah. right, you've had those meetings in Washington, but nothing has been agreed. The government hasn't said, we are going to sell off the NHS to you. Now, the document, there were two documents that Jeremy Corbyn held up. One of them was the redacted uh, document, so we don't know what's in that document. That um, uh, is a document mm -hmm. that has come from meetings between UK international trade civil servants um, and government representatives about drugs. Now, the other document is this one that I have in front of me because it's published, and it is about negotiation, negotiating objectives, I should say, between the United States and the United Kingdom about a future free trade agreement. Agreement. These are discussions and this is a discussion document. In it is the line that Jeremy Corbyn read, which is about procedural fairness for pharmaceuticals and medical devices, providing full market access for US products. This is their negotiating stance and this is about pharmaceutical products. There's nothing here about selling off the NHS. In other words, it would no longer be free at the point of use. No, it would undermine and cripple our NHS. At the moment, well, we on, have a special way of negotiating. No, 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 I, I was tough have, with Suella if, if on you... the Conservative. No, I was tough with Suella on the Conservatives yeah, yeah. on this. Yeah. We need Look. to be precise. When you say to people that you're selling off, the government's going to sell off the NHS, that's quite a frightening prospect for many people. And you are talking about something yes. different. You're saying undermining. That is not the same as selling off no, the no, NHS. No, no, no. What? What? What will happen is not your hospital won't be sold off tomorrow. They're far more clever than that. So for, to start with, the nice arrangements where the National uh, uh, Clinical Excellence Body, part of the NHS, that negotiates the drug prices and negotiates it so that it can be free at the point of delivery, that will be sold off to a harmonised system. Yep. And then the NHS will suddenly start not being able to afford 
its drugs and it will fall down and collapse on itself. Of course they're not so stupid to sell off our hospitals, but they're going to do it worse. They're going to cripple our hospitals so people will die and then, oh. and then what will happen is people Lloyd, will say we are is, forced to go to this private. Is that is what they're planning. This is and hyperbole. Honestly, it's serious. This is hyperbole and this it's, is what... It's in this black is and white in that nightmare. writing that no, you just read not, out. It's not in black and white. This is your nightmare scenario, as you would describe it. The document I have here is mm -hmm. an American is an American document. It's not a British government document. There's nothing here from the British government about their objectives. This is what the Americans would like, and they're talking specifically about drugs or pharmaceutical products. So not why won't off, the Conservatives... Not, well, that's a different question, but you've just admitted there yourself. Why won't why the Conservatives won't rule out... Right. Rule out right, I, these I, things. Why won't they release the redacted documents? You can only there is only smoke with fire, and oh, to us at right. the moment, so it looks like there's no a great evidence. big bonfire of our NHS. You've got no evidence, have you, Lloyd? No, we've got, got evidence. You saying smoke what you just fire, read out that the are negotiations are going no to start. Where's the evidence? You just read it out. You just read a right. line out that says. The negotiations are going to include harmonisation of drug from, purchasing from and that Americans. will undermine the very it, basis of our NHS. Is the government, is the British government in this document saying we are going to sell off the NHS? Is the British government in this American document going to undermine saying, it? Yes, they're going on, to undermine are they, it. Yes. Are they agreeing to any of this? No. And Boris Johnson said very clearly, now you may not believe him, but he said very clearly, emphatically, last night in that debate, we will never sell off the NHS. NHS. So when you want to have discussions and you want to talk to voters, you need to be clear about what you're talking about. Now, drugs policy and selling drugs is one thing. In terms of selling off parts of the NHS part of to NHS. American healthcare selling companies is, is very different. And nothing's been agreed. So I ask you again, where is your evidence that the government has literally signed up to sell off the NHS? Well, they haven't yet signed up. This election is about right. will they sign up or will we get a Labour government that will save our NHS and start rebuilding our country and start rolling back the cuts to the NHS that have meant that many people now have to go private, many people wait on long, long, long waiting lists and the A&E now has the longest waiting list since the records began. That is the face uh, of what we have at the moment and do we want to continue down that direction at which the inevitable end point is a destroyed National Health Service or do we want to go to a situation where we now rebuild our country, introduce green jobs, rebuild our economy, save our schools and fundamentally perform an NHS that means that people are fit and well to be able to work and productively contribute to our society. Lloyd, just stay with us one moment while I put this to the panel. Again, what do you make of the claims around the NHS and does it matter? I, what I make of it is this, that, that I, it's wrong to say that the Tories have said they're going to sell off the NHS. That is, that, you're right about that, Joe. But what is, what is happening is that the decision around Brexit means that we're going to lose 50% of our trade with our biggest trading partners. Only 15% of our trade is with the United States. We are now going to be supplicants to the United States, which is this huge, powerful economy which is able to set terms. And one of the terms is going to be hand over your NHS because our pharmaceutical sector why can't any, wait to get their hands on why it. Why would any British government do that? I mean, why, why, would, why it, would a government do what Lloyd it, it, it said, would, collapse the NHS so that people die? That seems no, a strange no, 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 policy for a government no, no, to pursue. No, they won't do it be deliberately. They will be supplicants. Well, they will be in a vulnerable position. But this, They'll is be talking about, this is talking about US drugs of, companies selling drugs to the NHS, which most people would assume that the NHS will buy drugs from countries outside the UK. People, no, 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 people no, no, listening no, no. to Jeremy Corbyn last night but have got the impression you, you're going to have to pay to go to the doctor. The Don't talk every time. When you leave the European Union, you no longer have those relationships. You are dependent now uh, on this giant sure. economy. And that is a political point. That is a political point about yeah. Brexit and how you feel uh, it, it would be difficult to, uh, to sort of subsist, in other words, with other countries when it comes to trading. But yeah. that is not the core question here about what is being said and claims that are being made about the NHS. Well, I think we can all agree that the NHS for sale claim is ridiculous. And you know, as, as we've all agreed, the NHS is going to continue <clears throat> to function free at point of use. Is there nothing to worry about? Well, I don't, honestly, I don't see that there is. The idea that European drugs companies are going to stop selling drugs to us because we've left the EU is nonsense. They will want to, to do business with us because they're in business to make money. If we can buy drugs 
more cheaply from America than we can from Europe, then we should be allowed to do so. Surely that's to the benefit of the NHS and to the taxpayer. Surely if we can get drugs more cheaply from America, and no government would do a deal, I'm sure, that would make, <coughs> mean we have to pay more for them, so we, then this is, more, this is more money for patient we're care. We're watching images of Americans going across the border to Canada to buy their, their drugs. They don't have they, they can't afford them in the United States. Yeah. This is the whole point. You can't... Let scaremongering people to go make them think it's going to be like America and you have to pay to go to yeah. the doctor and get your credit card out before you get... That is a total nonsense. The idea that any government in this country would advocate charging people to use the NHS is a nonsense. And right. the Labour Party know this. Yeah. Lloyd, we're going to talk about...